As Dilly Dilly and Bud Light's medieval world grew in popularity, we realized that we had built something incredibly powerful. Dilly Dilly had exploded in pop culture. Eventually, Dilly Dilly made its way into the world of golf, a sport known for its traditionally subdued, hushed tone atmosphere. Dilly Dilly! Things came to a head at the Masters Tournament, golf's most prestigious event, hosted every year at the historic Augusta National Golf Club. Augusta National had a reputation of being conservative when it comes to on-the-course behavior, and in wanting to keep their traditional ways, they banned the phrase Dilly Dilly from the tournament. If you happen to be going to the Masters this year, whatever you do, do not scream dilly dilly! Apparently, if you throw it out at the Masters tournament, you yourself will also be thrown out. No! The Masters overlord sent out a list of banned words and phrases, and dilly dilly is on the list. Good grief, do these people take themselves way too seriously. All this at an event that allows zero branding, carries no sponsorships, and even buys out the TV commercial block so that the tournament is uninterrupted. Knowing we couldn't let this pass without comment, we quickly put together a plan, including a royal decree from the Bud Light King. In response, Bud Light sent out this decree. <laughs> the Beer King is sending over a thousand no. t-shirts with Dilly Dilly on it, so even if you can't say it, you can wear it. And Michael Collins, ESPN's chief golf correspondent, loved it so much he chose to wear our shirt on air. Within six hours, and for the cost of 1,000 t-shirts, we were able to dominate the conversation around the Masters. Dilly, Dilly! 